Chris, keep your size blue cat. back with you thanks for tuning in something interesting uh, sorry for the wind noise it's a little breezy out today hope it's not too bad I wanted to tell you a, a, a little story I was down uh, fishing on the bank the other day a couple days ago and there was a couple of kids down there fishing on the bottom for catfish speaking my language right Anyway, um, one of them broke his line off and he had to retie his hook and sinker and all that. And uh, I was watching him tie his hook on. And he was using circle hooks, the same kind of hooks that I use, you know. And I was watching him tie his hook on and here's how he was doing it. He put his line through the loop, through the eye, and then he just started tying this uh, incredible number of overhand knots just like you tie your shoes you just tied a whole bunch of them over and over and over and pulling them tight well I asked him if I could show him a better way and he said yes so uh, I thought uh, I showed him how to properly tie a circle hook so I thought I would uh, share that with you guys how I do that the circle hook is a specially designed kind of hook. It's a non-setting hook. So when you're watching people fish and they're fishing for bass and they get that strike and they pull that rod real hard to set that hook, you don't do that with a circle hook. Okay, that's not how a circle hook works. It's designed and bent and curved in such a way that a simple tug on the face of this eye causes the hook to turn and catch the fish nine times out of ten right in the lip right in the corner of the mouth okay that's how a circle hook is designed to work and it's not designed to be set it's designed um, to be reeled down on and pulled not jerked okay <clears throat> and the key to making this hook work the way it's supposed to work is when the line is pulling on the hook you want the line pulling from the face of the eye not from the back Okay. All right, so how do I tie a circle hook? First, I hold the hook like this. I take my line and I stick it up through the eye. I get me about two inches back here and then I just grab it with the hook, okay? And hold it right there on top of the hook. Now I'm gonna start wrapping the shank of the hook and the line together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll try to get this close enough so you can see how they're lined up there and I'm just going to push them down a little bit so they're like that, okay? Now when I come around the next time I'm going to grab the line and I'm going to stick it this time through the top of the eye, okay? Through the back towards the face, all right? See how it pulled through there? Now remember it's not tied, there's no knot. But the tighter I pull on this line, the tighter that snell, it's called a snell, is going to cinch up on that hook shank, all right? And notice that we're pulling from the face of the hook, the side facing the closest to the tip is the face. We're pulling from the face of the hook. So we're pulling it in the right way for it to turn in that fish's mouth and catch him right in the lip, all right? Now the tagline back here, we're just going to clip that off. This is 50 pound braid. I like using 50 pound monofilament test. Wow. This is 50 pound monofilament, 50 pound test monofilament. And I like using it because I can use side cutters and just clip it off. Okay. Now, as tight as I can pull, as tight as any fish is ever going to pull, that tag's not going to move. And that snell is just going to get tighter and tighter. That is how you properly, properly tie a circle hook, guys. 
Hey guys, I need some help. Uh, back in 2013, I bought this water hose that you see laying here. Uh, it's a 50 foot hose, I believe. It's, uh, now here's what I need help with. I've had this hose and I've been using it daily as the primary RV water hose since 2013 it's gone and it's gone through the sites here and now almost two years of the Forza if you're a full-time RVer then you know how odd that probably is I've gone through lots and lots of other hoses and this one just keeps going strong you know uh, we live out on land and I've bought uh, you know over the years hundreds of feet of water hose and I've never had one that has stood up and lasted as long as this one. I would love to have another one. I would love to be able to tell you guys what brand it is and where to get it. Problem is, I don't remember. Okay? So I'm hoping that somebody out there somewhere in YouTube land will recognize this hose. It's a white hose with a gold stripe. I don't know if you can see it, looks like it has uh, some type of pattern in it, like there's an underlying cloth or something. Uh, these just look like standard ends, but these ends have not leaked a drop. It's amazing how well this hose, and I know it's dirty, sorry about that. I'm out here getting water for the RV right now. But uh, I'm telling you, this hose has given us outstanding service. I would love to figure out who makes this hose and where I got this darn thing because I would definitely buy it again. So if anybody out there knows or sees a hose like this, white with a gold stripe with a pattern in it at an RV shop or anywhere online or something like that in your travels or your, uh, you know, your travels online or elsewhere, please let me know. Okay, I would love to buy another one. So that's how you tie a properly snelled circle hook, okay? Pulling from the face of the circle hook, not from the back of it, all right? And that'll cause it to twist in that fish's mouth and hook him right in the lip, okay? That's the whole design behind a circle hook. See how curved it is? Okay guys, hey, thanks for tuning in again. If you uh, haven't subscribed we invite you to subscribe and follow along if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thanks again for watching the video we'll see you soon